Hi, I'm Aaron with Go Powertrain. Today we're going to be programming a 2014 Ford Explorer steering module. So to get things started, we're going to use FJDS Ford software. We're going to click X to the previous vehicle information. We want to start a new session. So we're going to click on Delete Sessions and hit the green check mark. It's going to come up with the new screen. We want to start new session. Click the check mark. Confirm that the J2534 is hooked up and powered on. Ignition key, make sure it is set to on. And it automatically pulls up the vehicle information. Odometer checks out. Everything looks good. So we're going to click on the check mark. Next, we're going to want to go to Module Programming. We're going to click on Programmable Module Installation. This was a new power steering rack that was installed in the vehicle. And so we'll scroll down until we see PSCM. When you click on it, a description will appear at the bottom of which module you're programming. We confirm that the VIN is correct. It's going to check to see if it's got the files available. We'll go through our on-off ignition cycle. So it says it was unable to obtain configuration data. It wants to pull it from the cloud, so we're going to click on Automatic and click the green check mark. Looks like it successfully pulled up the as-built data. It's going to configure the files. And everything is complete. We'll go hit the check mark. Go through our ignition cycles again. And we're back to the main screen. These are really easy to do. Um, they don't take any time to download the data file. Um, if you have any issues on certain vehicles where it cannot find the file, you're going to have to actually go to Ford's website and be able to pull the as-built data and build it into the module. Uh, luckily, on this one, it was able to pull it right up. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a shout.